My name is Katie Tatra, and today we will be playing more You Are Hope, and it's going to be tutorial two. We're going to go back onto my private server, and we will be learning how to farm and take care of um, a baby. Uh, shout out to Eternal Cemetery. They're going to be my little baby dummy, <laughs> so they'll be heading um, on with me. And I do apologize. I am still sick, but I am feeling a lot better than I have in a long time. Let me just get my comment section ready. Let me switch the game over to a screen that's easier to see, too. Boy, so here we go. And shout out, too, to the music, um, in case you're wondering what I am listening to. It's... Royalty free by Yule. I am pronouncing that horrible, but all they want is a good old shout out and I will send the link after the Stream is done in case you want to check out their music. I find it really cute But all right, so we have spawned again in case people don't know this is the phone version of um, one hour one life called you are hope it's similar to one hour one life but different so basically what i am here to do is to give you guys tutorials since you actually cannot find tutorials of this particular version of the game out there so hopefully <laughs> i can show you the similarities and the differences I've only just started playing the PC version, but I can assure you there are, there's differences right away. Like I was trying to make a basket on the PC one and I look so stupid because <laughs> the way you make it on here is not how you make it on there. And someone was just looking at me and I'm like whacking two hays together <laughs> and it wasn't doing anything, but it's okay. <laughs> That will be learning some for me. So here is my base from last time from tutorial one. We will do another little touch up on uh, how I got everything set up, but we're gonna be doing farming. So I'll go more in depth of how to make a basic hoe and um, how to farm. I actually set up a tiny little farm here to show you what we will be creating. Uh, I guess my carrots. Well, these used to be carrots, <laughs> but now they're seeding. But I'm gonna teach you where to find corn, uh, carrots, wheat, milkweed, a raspberry, and a, uh, a gooseberry, I believe it's called. Hold on. A gooseberry, yes. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to find these in the wild and how to plant them because there's a specific way. Well, yeah, there's a specific way for each. And how to farm. First things first, I'll keep the book out because um, in the corner, if you click your book, it will let you know what, uh, what you're looking at. And if you click on the icons, it tells you what you can do with it. I mean, berries aren't the best example, but it's okay. Alrighty, so we shall go. And the first thing we're going to look for is, uh, no, actually, you know what? First step, make yourself a hoe. So go out in the wild and you're going to look for right here called a straight branch. This is going to be how you make your beginner bow. And then look out um, in the green areas or any place. Specifically, you can find round rocks in the desert biomes. But look for a round rock and then turn it into a sharp stone if you don't already have one. And then you're going to hit that straight branch that you just got from the tree and turn it into a long shaft. So once again, if you highlight it with a book, it will show you your long shaft and it will also show you how to make your long shaft to see sharp stone plus straight branch. So from here, uh, you already have two of the three things you need to make your basic hoe. You have your sharp rock and you have your long shaft. Now what you're going to need is two threads to make a rope because the rope's going to tie your sharp stone to the long shaft. 
So let's go back out in this wild and we are going to find some milkweed. <laughs> Here we go. So since this is going to be a recap of last, uh, not all the way, but a little bit of last tutorial. Remember to wait until your milkweed is done flowering. So see the butterfly? That's the flowering stage. You want to hit it when it's the seeding stage because you need seeds. So this is seeds. Because if you kill your resources in any of the versions of these games, doesn't matter if it's one hour, one life, you are hope, and two hours, one life. You kill your resources, you murdered yourself and your whole village. So <laughs> don't do that. So we got some seeds, um, and milkweed's important. If you want clothes, you want to make anything, <laughs> make sure you seed out those milkweeds. Alrighty, so we're going to head back down. Oh, and I forgot to say, in this version, you only need to tap on the milkweed twice. Um, in the other one hour, one life, I don't know what it's called, but they turn into these little stalks. And you ha literally have to kill four milkweeds to get one rope like I just did. This one, just two. So now you just combine your rope to the long shaft. And see, now it has a little stick. It will show you other things that you can do with the uh, tied up rope. But we are making right here the stone hoe. So if you click the stone hoe, it will tell you exactly what you do next. So you just combined a sharp stone with the tied shaft. Oh, here we go. Hi, kitty. <laughs> I have a kitty with me right now, so I do apologize if you hear me out in the background. All right, so now we have the hoe. We're step one <laughs> to success to our thing. Next, I'm gonna re-show everyone how to make a basket in this game. Last tutorial I showed how, but again, a recap. So, if you hit on the basket, it'll tell you you need two reed bundles. Combine them. So in order to get reed bundles, you go into a swamp, which conveniently I am stationed at. <laughs> so grab your sharp stone and just run free into the wild of the swamp. But try not to get hit by boars. I can't hear my game, but I know you guys probably can. I don't know why my new phone doesn't let me when I stream. So I can't hear the pitter-patter, but usually listen for the pitter-pattering and you'll know if it's near you. So these right here, I should keep my book out. These are your reeds. So see how it says sharp stone, whack it to harvest it. You're going to whack two of these. Kapow. And now you're going to grab them and just combine both of them together to make your basket. So baskets are pretty simple. There's there's two different. Oh, I died of starvation because I don't have my sound on. Another very easy thing to do. <laughs> if you make sure. No, this is good. This shows you. Make sure you eat, guys. Because <laughs> if you don't eat, well, you're gonna die too. So. Uh... <laughs> You know, happens to the best of us, even those who play it forever. <sighs> Again, I don't, I don't have, I can't hear my sound. Usually I use my sound to cue to myself that I am dying. Because I usually don't eat until I'm dying. But <laughs> I'll try to be smart about this and <laughs> be a little more, uh, what's the word? Something about my uh, food. So for those new, all those little squares up there, that's your health bar. If that goes to zero and you start hearing that panic um, noise, which I'm sure you all heard, that means you're dying <laughs> and you need food. Now there is a yum combo in this game, like in one hour, one life, but it's not quite the same. Like if you yum it out, it doesn't last nearly as long, but that's okay because your food doesn't die near your nearly as quickly. Unless you're playing hard mode. Then then you're screwed. <laughs> I have it on the easiest mode right now. Which you can change the mode through a private server, which I'm doing for this tutorial. Alrighty, so let's let's pretend we didn't die. <laughs> That was just some noob. I don't know who that was. It's Larry. It's always Larry. Look at that Larry. He's dead. 
Oh, and a nice thing about this one, unlike the PC version, if you start out as an Eve, you can still name yourself something. Doesn't matter what. Uh, when you're an Eve in one hour, one life, you're stuck named Eve, but you can give yourself a last name. I'm going to be Maria Forger. There we go. Doink. Alrighty, so we'll go back. As I was saying, there are two different ways to make baskets on this game, which I will show you once I plant more wheat. Um, <laughs> for now, let's make sure I go eat some berries. Uh, we're gonna just be, um, we're gonna do the noob way and just survive on berries right now. When you're, when you're starting out though, when you're making a new place and you're on public server, put your berries on the ground you don't have to put all of them, but just some, because then your plant will respawn more. And if you're struggling with food, you got some on the ground and babies can pick them up. Alrighty. So now that you got your basket and now you got your hoe, we're off to look for the very first um, items. So actually we can get three of these. So carrot, corn, and wheat. We can all get in the what I call the rabbit biome. So mine is east, so we'll head here. So this this right here I call the rabbit biome because this is where you'll find all your rabbits. So if you take your book out, it will let you know what everything is. So right here is wheat. If you pluck it, you get a wheat seed. Put it in your basket. This right here is your toes night. I am sorry for the pronunciation. I cannot read. I'm just going to call it your corn. <laughs> That's your corn plant. And then I've already picked a few, but right here, let's find one that I didn't pick. And right here is your carrots. So a lot of people, when they see these, they usually just take their sharp stone and whack it to get the uh, wild carrot. Make sure you grab the seeds off of them because if you cut it down, you, your seeds will disappear. So there, you got three things you need to start your planting. Uh, heads up, wheat does vanish though. Unlike the other two seeds, you can just rest them on the ground and then plant later. The wheat seed is timed. I don't know how long it's timed. I say, I'm going to guess like maybe three minutes and then it disappears. But don't quote me, I never actually sat and timed it. So now that you got your seed, you got to go out and find some dirt. In the future, we can make compost, but that's when we do the animal tutorial. Right now, we're still like a new Eve little village. So if you highlight this, this tells you this is your fertile soil. And um, I like to grab it with the baskets, but you can. there's multiple ways you can grab it. But we made a basket. And I usually like to make my... Um, my farms near water so in this game your wells are created by your duck ponds so you got to make it dry though you um, you got to dry out your water so we're gonna just put it near this pond with sir duckins then we're gonna grab a few different compost I keep calling it compost well, I mean it it's not technically compost, but I'm so used to having compost in my village. Soil, there we go. Put it on the ground. Now, say you made some bowls like last tutorial. You're gonna, um, I'll show you two different ways to do it. I don't like wasting my resources. So what I like to do is I like to take this compost and separate it. You could do it about three. The problem is, is when you separate it, you need to whack it with your hoe two times in order to make it deep soil, because this is going to be called um, shallow, and then you hit it again and it's deep. But if you keep all the compost together, it just automatically becomes deep um, tilled row. But you're basically using more soil, though, for one spot, and again, it's all about your resources, so... You can easily replant milkweed and find a sharp stone to make another hoe. Then you can finding more soil at the beginning. So, and all right, now we're gonna plant our stuff. All right, <laughs> it looks like the wheat disappeared on me. 
I knew it was going to, but it's okay. I have a wheat plant right here. So what's nice about planting wheat is just grab the ones you've already planted and you get more seeds from it. I hear a kitty singing to me. <laughs> all right, so now we are gonna plant all three of these seeds that we found. Noink. And we're gonna head out and find the next stuff. So milkweed, very easy. We already hit one in the beginning of the, the stream actually. So you're gonna just head over to where you seeded out that milkweed and then you're just gonna plant it. I have some right here. So we're gonna put down more soil. Eat a berry so I don't die. <laughs> so I'm still not paying attention to my noise. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll make an extra one for good luck. There we go. Whack this twice. And now we're going to plant our milkweed. Very simple. Ooh. Now raspberries and berry bushes, a little different. So what you're going to do with your raspberry bush, which is right here. See how it says sharp stone? dug raspberry bush you can also use a shovel but we need iron for that which we don't have so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your sharp stone and you're gonna look for I'm gonna call it this grass biome you can find raspberries only in this biome so let's venture around and see if I have any more ras wild raspberries so there's one right there so whack it and now you're just gonna bring it with you <laughs> pretty easy and then you're gonna put it on your deep tilled row and you're all set and then we'll water it because the thing with raspberries a lot of beginners also do is they they'll plant them which is great but then they forget to water them and they'll never grow berries because they're dry see how it says dry raspberry bush you want it to be used you want it to look nice and green and not like it's wiltering. So with a berry bush, the gooseberry bush, what you're gonna do is look for one of your wild ones. You can use this one too, the planted one, but let's say it's not there because we're pretending I didn't already plant one. So here's a wild one. So you're gonna grab one of the berries and then you're going to grab one of your flint stones and then you're gonna whack it and it becomes this really tiny little black speckle that's your gooseberry seed and then you're going to plant it boink there so easy enough we got everything planted so now we need to water everything the last tutorial i showed you guys how to um, make bowls and clay uh well make clay bowls i should say <laughs> i said it backwards so just a recap we'll hit this and we'll show you and so to make a bowl you go out into your jungle which is down here find clay whack it with a stone to turn it into a bowl once you turn it into a bowl you're gonna grab your tongs right here which you'll probably see me do later uh just to do a, another little recap then you're gonna grab your wet um bowl cook it in your furnace and boom you got yourself a bowl again i'll do another little one later here i'm gonna eat my berries another fun trick that i like to show newcomers is you literally just highlight a berry bush like this and it'll fill your bowl up and then just scroll up on your character and they'll eat it you can't do it with raspberry bushes see they won't let you but you can always do it with your gooseberries but all right now it's time to water so we're gonna go over here and start watering at the beginning if you don't have more duck ponds i recommend you do not um dry out your duck water until you collected i want to say about eight rocks i don't know I, you need a lot of rocks in order to hit a well but you also need a shovel so try not to kill your your pond right away until you have a shovel in a enough rocks <laughs> because if you have a big family on and you don't got the water you're a little screwed 
but we'll, we're okay. It's just, um, it's just me. And I don't mind showing you what a dried pond looks like because I have another pond right there. And, uh, I gotta, I gotta show you what everything looks like, <laughs> which means we gotta expand our farm soon, but that's the beginning steps of your farm. So now everything's going to start growing, which is great. So carrots on this game, they grow quick, but unlike one hour, one life, they do not seed quickly at all. Like in one hour, one life, you got them like three minutes or something and they're already seeding. It's quick. But in this game, it literally takes like 30 to an hour, real 30 minutes to an hour for your carrots to seed. So make sure if you have carrots, you always plant at least two seeds. So one run row is for pies or whatever you need it for. And then the other one, just leave it. Leave it for seeding. Because if you run out of seeds in a rabbit biome, you're going to go hunting for another one. And the farther you have to go, the worse it's going to be for you and your family. And we, we don't want that. So we're gonna go grab another one. I feel like also, which is nice in this game right now, Santa is in the snow biomes for a holiday event for winter. So it'll be, oh look, iron guys. We'll pick that up after. Um, so if we run into Santa, Christmas for us. <laughs> All right, we'll plant one more carrot. And iron right here, this is your iron, which is real good to find. This is what you use for crafting all of your tools. So we're going to bring that back to the furnace. I didn't actually think I was going to find iron that quickly. I don't even have my flat stone. <laughs> hey, I mean, if, if we get this farming done pretty well, <laughs> maybe I'll show the beginning of forging. No... Foraging is a lot more complicated than pies, so I'll I'll think about that. <laughs> I'll debate which one I should show next. The th nice thing about foraging, though, is once you get it down, the basic parts, everything's pretty much repetitive. How to make almost every tool pretty repetitive. Basic tools, I should say. Oh no, I <laughs> I hid my thing behind the tree another stream where I just throw my basket everywhere I do it every time my, my person just does not like to keep her basket okay so we're going to expand the farm so when you're starting out um, it's always good to have a lot of milkweed you can put make your farm any way you like to do it but um, in this game, you can't use, I think it's called pine. You can't make pine flooring, which is a little bit of a bummer because on the PC version, I always see the farms with like, I think it's pine, this stuff on the floor. You can't do that on this one. You could just make tea. <laughs> so it's a little upsetting, but you could still use flat rocks and wood and stuff if you want for your farms, but that's why I just kind of shove them all together. I'm like, whatever, game. <laughs> Be like that then. See if I care. But yeah, so see how this is deplenishing? So in the last tutorial, I told you that your clay, as long as you leave one piece in there, it fills back up. Dirt is not the same. So once you lose that dirt, and you hit it with a shovel, it becomes clay, and then after that, it's gone. So, that's why getting um, manure and all that other fun stuff to make compost is, uh, is important. But we're, we're just a beginning thing, and, um, even if you have, like, say, five kids, you should be okay at the beginning, as long as you look around for more dirt piles, and you do what I, uh, the separating like this you should be fine because what you want to do is you want to you want to plant at least enough carrots and wheat to start making pie because uh keeping your family hungry i mean <laughs> hungry no you don't want to keep them hungry keeping your family full is your goal 
because there's only so many gooseberries that will go around, so. I'm gonna whack all this. There we go. I'm gonna plant more wheat. I say try to have at least three or four. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be too, too many at the start. And carrots, again, it depends how many you have. Two, one to three rows is fine. But just again, leave one row to, um, one row to seed up. So with the corn, there's also another way to get seeds. Once you plant a corn, grab one, and then we're going to um, shuck it. And you can use a sharp stone or a flint. I don't know why, but I always just use flint to shuck corn. And you're gonna do this. So when you do that, it becomes a U-shucked corn. Leave it out to dry. And once it dries, we're gonna hit it with our flint again, and it will seed for us. And just leave it there, cause it will continue seeding the more um, for the rest of the time. It's just chilling. So, and then you can plant those little seeds and get more corn that way. That way, you don't have to go all the way back to that biome and uh, start getting seeds that way. The way I see it is just just bring the resources to you. Make your life easier. Don't make it more uh, more difficult. All right, that that's good. <laughs> that's a good start of a little farm right here. Plant a couple. We'll plant a couple more milkweed because, again, milkweed's used for everything, and I I made a big enough farm, and I got space. <laughs> Boink. Because um, milkweed, the string is used for clothing. It's also used for, um, as I said, signs. It's used for your hoe. Gosh, it's used for everything. <laughs> everything. That's why if, you, if someone makes you a big milkweed farm, thank them. <laughs> Say, bless your soul. For making this gigantic milkweed farm for us because then you're set i mean make sure that when they're they're making that farm you know you got enough compost to go around and can have it for veggies and stuff but still be very happy if someone plants quite a bit for you oh look i dried it out so this is what a dried um pond looks like and you are sad because if say you didn't kill your duck what you need for forging you're you're pretty much screwed so a lot of newbies like to dry out their well before they kill their duck and then they have to go find another duck and if they're in a small jungle i mean swamp that's not good because you usually can only have about one duck i'm in a big one so there's my other duck that's why i'm okay but it's fine if if you get worried and you're like oh no what do i do like we need water put the water back in the pond and tell everyone listen we cannot farm right now unless someone's going to travel far away leave this pond if you leave a pond i don't i don't know how long it takes uh, about two hours it will regenerate but the duck will never come back but your pond will fill up again so we're going to leave our water there. Let it fill up. It's going to take some time. But yeah. I think that's pretty good for our farm. Everything. Uh, we didn't get those two. But that's okay. Alrighty. So now the next thing we're going to learn. Is how to make pie. Because once you got your farm going. You can start making your yums. So this right here is your oven. So if you highlight it and then you click on where it says Adobe oven, it's hard to see because the yellow thing's dancing for some reason. <laughs> to make an oven, what you do is you go and make Adobe. Adobe is going to be made with either straw, which I'll show you how to make soon, or reed bundle, which you all saw me go get in the swamp area. 
You combine those two with a clay and get an adobe. Then in this game, all you do is combine two of your adobes together and hit it with a rock and you get an oven. On the PC, you have to have one adobe hit it with a rock and then combine the other one. It's a little different, but basically same concept is there. But that's how you make your little oven. And to make pie, you want to set out at least four plates. Similar to making bowls, you just, to make plates, you go out there in the... Here, you know what? I'll just show you guys another recap. Very easy. You're going to grab your basket you made. And you're going to go find some clay. Which I have some right here. Ooh, nice, nice. So, we'll grab two. And then we're heading back to your base. And to make um, these little bowls and little plates, you get round rock. Whack it once for a bowl and whack it twice for a plate. And in this version, on like the PC one, there's also big plates. So we'll... Oops. We'll show you how to make a big plate too. Just another recap. So two more. Leave your clay if it looks like this. That means you only have one more. Um, if you leave it, it will replenish itself. If you pick it, it's gone and dried. So to make the big plate, combine these two clays together. And um, whack it three times. And you got yourself a big plate. Oh, hello. You know, I, my chat's just working now, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> hello, everyone. How are you? Eternal, go eat your food. <laughs> oh, oh, you're telling me to eat food. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, Eternal. Listen, listen. I can't hear my sound for some reason, so my person dying. Again, I use the sound to cue to myself that I'm hungry, and I can't hear it. <laughs> I know you guys can hear it, but I can't hear it. I don't know why. Well, here. Am I muted? I bet I'm muted. Nope. I... My phone's not muted, guys. Alright, it's not muted. Well, that's unfortunately. If you water fully grown carrots, they will seed. On this version, too? I wasn't sure if that worked on this one. You know, it's worth a try, Eternal. I will take your advice, and I will go water some, some carrots. Because they do take forever to seed. Oh, look, it's... Look, it's Billy. Billy forgot to eat. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We got a lot of teachers, so they just keep respawning. This teacher is going to be called um, Surviving. And she's going to be called Teacher. That's her last name. Teacher Survive. Survi I didn't spell surviving right. I don't know what I spelled. Serving. She's a teacher serving. Okay. That's fine. That works, too. <laughs> All right, let's test your your uh, theory out. Because I didn't think that would work on this game. On this version, let me rephrase. So we'll grab the water. We'll go to my fully grown carrots. And let's see if we can bloosh them. Oh, yeah, you're right. I watered them. Interesting. Okay. So they should probably seed quicker then. Yeah, you programmer. <laughs> you pro baby. In case anyone wants to know, Eternal's the one that's going to help me show how to take care of babies. I just got to make sure I eat. I don't have my... I can't get my sound to work, so I can't use my sound cues. Okay. So, before, before that teacher died, she was showing you how to make your big plates. Big plates are exclusive only to this version of the game. So, and I love them because you stack pies with them. So, in order to cook it, 
you gotta go to your forge. You don't, you can't cook things with coal. So say if someone has it all set up with coal, uh, you only can remove coal with a basket. That's why I have a basket here. And now you're gonna take some kindling, put it in your forge. Now we gotta, st we gotta make a fire. So in order to make a fire, oops. There's only two trees you could get leaves in. You could get it in this one. I'm going to try to pronounce it. The Lombardi poplar tree. <laughs> AKA the curve stick tree. That's what I call it. And then the other one's the maple tree. I, I personally always like the maple tree better because that's where you get your long shaft sticks and stuffs. But that's okay. So in order to make a fire, you gotta go get a juniper. Oh yeah, and in this game, you have little emotes like this. So this is how you emote in this game. In one hour, one life, they, you have like slash and expressions that way. But in this one, you just create little emotions that way. All right, now I'm... So for fire, you need at least two kinds of trees. Juniper which I really should plant in the future closer. <laughs> set it down, we'll set it down here. And then any leaf, like I said, maple or the Lombardi for um, the leaf thing. Where's my fire starter? Oh, right in front of me. So in order to make a fire, you gotta highlight your long shaft till it starts burning. Take your leaf, cook up your leaf. <laughs> And then take that cook leaf onto the juniper and it's gonna start sizzling and then this is when you want to take a kindling and you're gonna put it on the fire Pushki now you got yourself a little fire Once we can cut down trees we can keep the fire alive longer because there's a certain um, piece of wood that will Keep it burning a lot longer than throwing kindling on it, but that's all we got right now. So we got a thousand set up. It'll go fast. You'll see how fast that kindling is going to burn. So now we're going to cook our stuff. So when, I, when I'm when i starting out, I try to have at least four plates and uh, three bowls. Ideally, six bowls and six plates would be the best to have on each side. Because you need bowls and plates for forging and pies, so I like to even out. Only big pies go on the oven side, though. Forge doesn't need big plates. And if they do, it's just because they're hungry. <laughs> but you cannot, you cannot make pies in a forge. Alrighty, so see our fire is already going out. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to make sure to eat because not paying attention again. This teacher will survive. <laughs> Next stream tutorial, I will be baby. Yeah, you, I mean, you can be baby um, once I'm done making pies if you want. Because I think I titled this baby care too. Alrighty, so in order to make pie, we got to go over and get your wheat. So we're running, we're running. And you can only chop down wheat when it's um, ripe. It will look green when it's not ready. And it will look yellowish when it is. A lot of people like to chop down all their wheat at their farm. And I don't like doing that. I like keeping at least one. Because <laughs> it's for seeding. Yes, you can get seeds from the, like, the wheat seed head thing. The wheat seed sheaf, whatever. I called it a head because I was reading the other thing. <laughs> but these disappear over time. They, they don't stay in this game. So now that we got the sheaf, this is also um, where I'm going to show you how to make another way of a basket. But in order to do that, we got to whack these. And it will poop. <laughs> little grains on the floor so straw is good for making compost which we can't do yet well mm, i mean i guess we could make a compost pile but it's useless until we get to poop <laughs> no access to server and you didn't give me access on stream 
Oh? Oh, you're right. I need to send you a link. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind if you guys want to join me on my teacher stream. I will send a link to the, um, to the thing here. Don't do on stream? Okay. Oh, wait, I got an idea. I know how to, s no, I don't know how to send it to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> here, I know. So what I'll do is if I die, uh, I will end the stream here, send it, and then, <laughs> then I'll restart the stream to have you my baby. How about that? I'm sure there's a way to pause it. I don't know how to pause it on my phone. But yeah, straw is good for compost, which we can make one, but these will disappear on us. So we're just going to combine them to show you another way to make a basket. So combine those and boom, you make a basket very easy don't try that on the pc version like i did it doesn't work you'll sit there look like a doofus for five minutes trying to combine straw together <laughs> also baskets will deteriorate on this game very quickly so I'm, i don't know if they do on the pc one but on this one they do so in order to keep your basket alive you have to put it on a used clay crock if you don't do that, say bye-bye to your basket. <laughs> but okay. Which I'm going to leave one to rot. So another tutorial, you guys will see a dead, decaying basket. And know why I said to do that. So this right here is your threshed wheat. This is what you're going to need for dough. And dough's good for making bread. I think my fire miter died, yeah. Hurry me, poor dies dies. No. Boink. So it's good for making bread and pies. The first thing I'm going to teach is pie. So in order to pick it up, you need a bowl. Scoop it. And then bring that with you. <laughs> okay. I should have called this lady pie teacher. <laughs> so here... It doesn't tell you how to make the pie, but... Oh, yeah, it does. So to make a bowl of flour, it's telling you to hit... Hit this with a, a round stone. So come over here, grab your round stone, and whack it. You did it! So now you're like, okay, now what? Just grab it, and it will tell you your next step. Bowl of water. Add it to this to make dough. So just like one hour, one life version, dough is timed on this. If you let it rise, it will become bread. If you don't let it rise, you can use it for pies. So we got to go grab another bowl. Ah, no, we got a bowl down there already. You're going to go grab a bowl. And you're going to go grab some water. Look at that. There's a Sir Duckins right here. Moink. And that's a nice full pond, light blue and beautiful. In this game, the it will start turning like a muddy looking color, the water, when it's shallowing. That's usually when you want to stop if you don't want to kill your duck. Yay, so now we got ourselves some dough. So it's also showing you to make another, I call it baby bread. You can hit it with a stick and then cook it on your fire. But again, we're, we're going to make bread next. We're going to start with pie because pie feeds your family better. So now that you have it like this, go right down and see how it says clay plate equals raw pie, um, pie crust. Um, I just put the raw bread stick on fire and it will be cooked. Yeah, I do the same. There's, there's a few different ways you can do it. So, now we're going to move your dough to your plate. Booshki! Look at that. You got yourself some raw pie. But the pie's not done there. This is just the crust. And see why I did it four times? Now I have an empty bowl. Woo. My, my fire keeps dying. <laughs> As I said, there's a reason why I put a whole bunch up there. Alright, we're going to eat because... I'm trying to I'm trying to watch this girl better. Mmm, delicious berries. Yes. Totally good for yums. <laughs> Alrighty. So 
at this point, you're like, okay, I got some pie crust. What can we do? Well, it's giving you options right here. You could do gooseberry, mashed rabbit with carrot, or just mashed rabbit, mashed carrot, cooked mutton, cooked goose, carnitas, um, blueberries, raspberries, and then just carrots. So I'm going to show you guys carrots because carrots are a little different on this one compared to the PC version. A little easier, I guess I should say. Oh, wow, Eternal. It did work on this version. So shout out to Eternal. Um, they probably learned it on, I don't know where they learned it. But apparently if you want your carrots to seed quicker on this game, which I didn't think was going to work, uh, just water them. And they will seed within, I don't know, that was like 10 minutes. So take your path. You don't have to take your basket, but I find it quicker. Take your basket and just highlight your carrots. And now you got a full basket of carrots. If you don't highlight it like that, you can only carry three carrots at a time. So might as well do that. Carrots come in rows of four to five. It's random. But I think I got five this time. Boink. So now, on this version, a lot easier. On the PC one, you have to put the carrot into a bowl, and then you gotta take like a sharp stick and then whack it like that. And then you gotta take this and then you turn it into a raw pie carrot crust thing, right? This version, a lot easier. Just grab the carrot and put it on. Oh, my girl ate it. Just grab the carrot and put it on the crust. You can't do that on the PC uh, one hour, one life, but this one you can. So it's a lot quicker than just bowling it out. But I showed you both ways. So if you really want to take the time to put it in a bowl, smoosh it up and cook it that way, feel free to do so. <laughs> you look like a real truce. You'll, you'll make people who are new think that you know what you're doing, but secretly you're, uh, you're just doing the same thing you could with the other way. All right, so put kingling in the oven and start it. You cannot bake your pies when there's fire in the oven. I don't know why. It's just what it is. You got to wait till the fire goes out, and then you can cook your pie. Delicious. I forgot to set up a, long, a big plate, but that's okay. So typically, you should have one big plate set out so you can start putting your pies on it. So to stack pies, just drag it onto the big plate. And then do the same, drag it onto the big plate. I believe it holds six pies. I'm not, I can't remember. And yay! And this is nice to me because I love stacking pies. In the, uh, in the PC one, you cannot stack pies because there's, again, there's no big plate to do so. They put them in like these little containers, like this big square thing, and they stick the pies in there. But I don't know, I find it a little more organized to have them in that. And then I can make my little table later on and start putting my pies up there and make my kitchen look nice. So we're going to repeat that process, but this time we're going we're gonna to make different pies. Um, so when you're stacking pies, though, it has to be the same kind of pie. Like you can't put a rabbit pie on top of a carrot pie and vice versa. So same thing, we're going to hit it. And then we're going to go get our water. We're going to eat. Because this, this girl's self-aware. <laughs> she knows she needs to eat. I lost my bowl. <laughs> Just kidding. We're coming back. Where's all my bowls? There's one. I'm throwing everything everywhere. <laughs> try, try to remember where you put your stuff. Because that's important. Trying to keep your base clean is also really important. It gets very like what's I don't want to I want to say intimidating, but maybe not confusing when people start throwing everything everywhere. So you want to try to keep it clean. So once again, we can make four pies, but now we're gonna make four different pies if I have enough to make four different fire and pushy. So the first pie we're going to make 
is going to be a bowl of rabbit and carrot. Oh, I killed all my carrots. So we'll just do, uh, she's celebrating. <laughs> so we'll just make a, a rabbit, I mean, yeah, rabbit pie. So in order to make rabbit pie, put it in the bowl and just whack it with your sharp stone. And then it will spewski. It's so funny to watch a lot of new people because I did the same thing. Um, here, I'll show you guys. So smush rabbit looks very similar to a bowl of raspberries. So let's see if my raspberries are ready. They are not. Well, that's unfortunate. Guess we'll make some gooseberry pie. But um, it looks very similar to a bowl of raspberries. So people tend to try to like eat it. And you can't. <laughs> so another reason why it's always good to have your book. So now you just take your smush rabbit. Bushki, you made yourself a rabbit pie and each pie also looks a bit different so that's another way to know that you can't stack those pies together because they're different they're different pies all right let's go we'll go plant some more carrots and now I have enough seeds though so I don't need to leave one seeding so now my soil is gone see how it says empty fertile soil I can't reuse that anymore. It's done and done. So, what I'm gonna have to do now is walk farther away from camp to find more um, soil from my farm until I can start doing compost. She she just really likes to drop her basket. <laughs> if you hit that with a shovel, you yeah. I know I could get a second one. Yeah. And then it becomes clay, but we don't have a shovel. So right now it's empty soil. Yeah, as Eternal was saying, um, you can refill it one more time. I think I was mentioning that earlier. You can refill it one more time, but after that it becomes clay. And then from there, it's just dead forever. So either way, it, it has, unlike clay, soil has a limited time to be with you. Cause like that clay right there and um as long as i don't touch it it should start refilling itself all right we're gonna plant some of this corn not corn carrot oh you see this right here how it says use harden row if you want to soften up a row just grab a little bit of soil in a bowl and just stick it on there and it'll become a shallow row and then you could just hit it again. I'm glad that was there. I forgot. I almost. I totally forgot to uh, show that. So we're going to plant more. More carrots. But yeah, Eternal is, uh, for those who don't know, they're also a, a streamer. They're my sibling as well. And we both started playing this game in August <laughs> together. So there's things that she's better at than I am. So <laughs> shout out to Eternal for being pro gamer. <laughs> we, we basically been teaching, uh, helping each other learn because um, this version of the game does not have a tutorial online on YouTube or anything. And um Again, there's some differences um, to this game that are not in the PC one. So it was a trial and error for something. There we go. So now, now we're just going to finish up. Hmm. We'll cut down another wheat. That way I can show you guys some bread. So we're going to go over here. Choppy choppy. Grab this. And once again, hit it with your long straight stick. Smack it. Nice. I if you leave your stuff like this with the little um, wheat hanging out, this won't disappear. So, but if you pick it up and put it like this, it will disappear. This the thresh won't, but the wheat straw will. So um. What we're going to do, as long as it... I'm pretty sure it will stay long enough. 
We're gonna make a dry compost pile. We can't do much with it until we get some poop, but we might as well get the start of it. So to start that, we need a bowl of berries and then carrots. So we're just gonna stick the berries right here. And it has to be a full bowl. Like if, if you try to put one berry in a bowl and then a carrot, it's not gonna work. There. Wink. Okay. Woo. So now we're going to grab the thresh. And we're going to basically do the same thing we would for pie. Only this time we're going to let the dough rise. So hit it with your round rock. Then go put water on it. Also, in this game, you can um, you can check your age by highlighting your character. And on the top where it shows my food bar, it says that I am 37 years old. Unless you have a mod on the PC one, you don't know how old you are. It's, you basically guess. I don't have the mod, so it's, it's kind of fun to be a guessing game. And when I turn, um, when I'm a female in that game, <laughs> sometimes I can, don't realize I can't feed my children anymore. And they're like screaming at me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry, baby. I didn't, I didn't realize I got ancient. All right, so now we're just gonna let this sit. Right, we can use a flat rock too, but I don't ha currently don't have a flat rock, which is weird. I don't know why I haven't grabbed one yet for my um <laughs> for my town, because you need a flat rock to. Uh, for foraging so you know what while we wait for that to rise let's go find a flat rock so there's two biomes you can find the flat rocks these are not going to be oh there's the raspberries <sighs> i have a short attention span sometimes <laughs> it's okay it's because i wanted to teach you guys this so you need a full bowl when you have a wild raspberry plant, you do not get all eight berries. You only get six of them. So hopefully my plant home will have the same. Yay! Yeah, these guys are timed usually. All raspberry plants tend to bloom at the same time. There. This, that should be a full bowl. Yeah. So wild... And this is another reason why you should plant your raspberry ones. Wild ones only give you six, planted one gives you eight. And you need eight for full bowl. Cause you can't make pie without a full bowl. So now you're gonna come here, Pushki. You made yourself a raspberry pie. Now we're gonna go down here. Carrot should be done too. Almost, okay. Almost ready. But look at that dough guys. Mm -mm, that looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's telling you to put that on a gigantic plate. So, we're going to come here, and we're going to do exactly what it says to do. Wacky! So, now that is on a plate. There's there's quite a few different ways to bake bread, but this, this is the easiest one, and I'm just going to show you guys, as I said, the basics of cooking. They get you started. So when you have yourself a family, you could be like, look at me, pro chef. I just made you guys pie and some bread. So now, if you look at this, oh yeah, you need to cut the bread, but I didn't make a knife yet. But um, in order to make bread this way, you have to um, cut it up and then, actually, I guess I can't teach this. I didn't realize I should have got my this is why I needed to go get that flat rock guys <laughs> but yes all risen bread needs a knife I should have showed you rock bread caveman style bread <laughs> it's all right this is why I knew I knew I needed to bring that flat rock to my base but I was like, nah, we don't need it, but we do need it. I was, I was showing you guys too much, um, too advanced bread. We need caveman bread, not, not fancy chef bread. So we need to go uh, find either a desert biome that has flat rock there, or I'm going to call it the bear biome. So right here, this is the desert biome. 
You should have... In the desert, you can find uh, snakes and they murder you. And in this game, it doesn't matter your skin color. Uh, you can go into the jungle or the desert without overheating or dying. And the PC version, only select um, orientations can go into the desert. Yay! Okay, look, it shows you right here to make tortillas. <laughs> I should have showed you stick bread. You skewer on dull bowl. That isn't risen. Yeah. I should have done skewer bread too. AKA stick bread. There's a couple different breads I could have showed that was easier, but that's okay. Now we have a fancy bread for later. You know what I can show? So you see how your fire right here says hot coals? Put your flat rock on there. And then go find your duck. I hope he has one. Go find duck. And you see how duck has eggs? This is another reason until you get domesticated ducks. Uh, keep one of your ducks so you can get eggs. And if you hold on to your egg. See how it says flat rock cooked for an omelet? There's a couple things you can do. You can put an egg in a bowl and just cook the bowl on um put water then an um <laughs> i'll just show you guys and tell you right now flat rock egg put it on stone for omelet omelets burn so make sure you have a plate ready and you grab it and boom you made yourself an omelet very easy really good for your family fills up your food meters very nicely and look, I have one plus yum, guys. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, there's a, a few things you do with the flat rock. Um, but that one's going to be for eggs. Oops. Right here, this is what I would call the bear biome. Because as you can see, there is a bear cave. <laughs> And a lot of newbies go over to it and they're like, what's this? And they start clicking it. A gigantic gorilla bear. Gorilla bear? <laughs> you know, half monkey, half bear. <laughs> Grizzly bear will come out and start munching on all the babies and you. So don't hit those caves. You'll die. But we're going to go grab another flat rock. Hooray. It's always good to have at least three, two to three flat rocks in your forge. Hey, look, I have a rabbit from last stream. Hello, little rabbit. We'll just go set you there. We'll do another rabbit tutorial on the clothes tutorial. That one, I, I, sh I assure you, I'll have everything all planned out in my brain. <laughs> my brain wants to cheat so many different cooking things, but I have to slow it down. Because to me, it's easy, but... <laughs> I'm not thinking either. I'm like, oh, let's make this, this, and this. And then I realize that I'm cooking before I even have my forge stuff done. Because technically, you should be making pie. Bread is something that's a little more complicated. But beginners, just, just make your pies. Um, it'll, it saves your family. It fills them up. And you make a lot of them. Bread bread doesn't fill everyone up. But yeah, you want at least to have three, f three flat rocks on your forge and one in your kitchen area. I'm just going to have two in my forge and one in my kitchen area. I'm in, I just realized that I have a huge rabbit biome, which is great for making clothing if you have a really big family. And just great overall. Like, you won't have to wait for your rabbits to uh, have families, because you'll have a lot of families. Desert biomes, which this one has a little bit, is also the only place you can find horses. Which, in a, eventually, I will show you how to get a horse. But that again, you need your, you need your forge going. Uh, Alrighty, so let's see. Celebrate. So now we got our two there. 
And you see right here how that's white? This means your fire died and you could take your flat rock off of there. If your coals are still burning on the fire, you can't remove your flat rock. So make sure if you're cooking something, technically do not put it on your main fire. Make a different fire for it. But I was just excited and I wanted to show you guys how to make omelet. And then bread, but again, I think bread's going to be just a little too complicated. Unless I show you stick bread. I mean, stick bread's pretty good. So let's click our person. Our person is 47 years old. That's pretty old. So we're going we're gonna to pick up a little bit. Because it's, it's pretty dirty in this, in this little village. And again, uh, you want to try to keep your stuff a little organized. It doesn't have to be completely, but if things start going everywhere, your family, <laughs> they tend to get discouraged and, and will die and leave, or you just, they die because they just can't find anything. <laughs> they get hungry. Alrighty. Uh, see, it's not too bad. Alright, our carrots should be done, though. Boink. Yay! So, basket of carrots. So, to start out your compost, you're gonna take this straw, and you're gonna put it in an area where you're okay having a gigantic compost pile. We don't have the animals for compost, but again, let's get it started. So, this is my farm area, so it's probably best to put compost piles in the farm area. So, drop your straw. And now we're going to take a carrot, combine it in the bowl, and you got... This is also sheep food, guys. <laughs> but we're not making sheep food. We don't even have a sheep right now. What we're making is the start of compost. So whack it, and don't miss. <laughs> Third time's a try. So once you have... Your smushed up stuff. See how your book is telling you to now add that to your straw? That's all we're going to do. We're going to add that to your straw. And that's the start of compost. <laughs> Again, it's great to start your compost. Even if you don't have your animals. Because if you run out of soil, bye bye farm. <laughs> so, good to start it. Even if you can't finish it, good to start. All right. And because we haven't chopped down any trees yet, Bushki, make sure your kindling is staying. All right. I need to find my uh, one more stone, too. Mm, uh, nah, I guess we won't have to. So we should... We, sh we should make one more compost. We got, we got enough wheat to do so. And then after that, we're gonna go find some some iron because even if I don't do the forge today I can get it set up or maybe I can maybe in my next life when I have a baby the little baby can um can show you too how to get some iron and how it's like having a family with you Again, set the straw where you want because if you set it, if you put it on top, you can't move it. Trust me. Like, it's stuck. You can't pick it up. You can't pick it up. <laughs> it's forever where you place it till it turns into soil. Oh, I forgot to sheaf it. <laughs> Guys, make sure, make sure you turn it into hay. It can't stay wheat. You gotta sheaf it. See, I, I was just testing. I was just testing. There you go. And I could technically wet it, but it's just gonna... I believe it dries up again without the without the poop. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it. No, no need to wet it. Alright, we'll pick this up. And even if we're not making more pies, we're gonna put it over here. Maybe I can make... Maybe I can make the bread... If I have enough time. Let's see what my girl is. She's 51 years old, guys. And she's still looking great for her age. Alright. I think I have one more raw pie. There we go. 
So we'll we'll make another fire. How about that? Cook that pie. Oink. Oh, you know what? No, nope, we'll do what I said. No brain. <laughs> okay. So once again, juniper. You need one juniper, one leaf from a Lombardi or a maple, aka curve curve stick tree or straight stick tree. Um, highlight the sh uh, the short, I mean the long staff until it sizzles. Make a burning leaf. Put it onto the juniper till that sizzles. Wait for a little fire. I'm hungry. I'm okay. Thank you. And then bushki. I appreciate it. I was watching. I won't starve. I, tr I trust me. See? Full belly. <laughs> when you get old, I, yeah, when you get older, you get hungry quicker. So I'm about to be mm, senior. You turn into a senior, I believe, at 55. You'll watch my lady go from like this ginger to uh, a non ginger. <laughs> But when you're also a baby, you get hungry quicker too. So make sure you eat. And also look above where my health bar is. If you guys remember from the beginning of the stream, it was completely black because it was full bars. But because I'm old and I'm dying, my health bar is decreasing. Okay. Doink. So... While we're here, let's cook our pies. We still, we still young, <laughs> full of much youth. So like I said, um, you cannot cook when it's fiery. You can pretend, <laughs> but you can't do anything. It's useless, push, push. Now you can cook. And again, you can only stack the same kind of pie on top of each other, see? This is not the same pie, because this is a raspberry pie, and over there is all carrot. So put that down. Here's a carrot, so guess what you can do? Stack it. Alrighty. This is a rabbit, you can't stack it. And then this is a berry pie. Now I have plenty of big, um big plates to stack all the pies on which sure will do Wink. because you you want to make your little your little plates free so you can continue to make more pie also um it's good to have an extra small plate out in the open because you can't grab the um you can't eat the pies off the big long plates you can only uh, um eat them off the small ones which my person accidentally just did now before i could say it so a lot of times i see new um new members grab a big plate and then they're like doing this and they're struggling and i'm like you can't eat it on the big plate and they try and they try so what you do is you take a small plate, take it off that, here, we're gonna eat a carrot one because there's a lot. Take a small plate, take it off that, um, the big plate, and then scroll up. So once you eat your pie though, you cannot stack it back um, because it's it just won't let you. Germs, guys. <laughs> there we go. So that, that is the basics of farming and cooking. I didn't think I was going to cook today, but it only makes sense when you're farming to also show you cooking because they kind of go two and two together. Um, and again, as you can see, pies are really not hard to do. Just make sure that you go back down to your farm and look at your resources. So... You still got two wheats. Uh, it's probably good to plant some more. You got one carrot. Again, probably should plant some more. But I'm just one person right now. So it'll, it's fine. Now if there was five of us, six of us. You're, you should always double it up. So if you have five members. 
I'd have more than two carrots if you can. I'd, I'd have four going because they're going to eat a lot of pie. <laughs> and unlike, um, unlike the PC one, there's not really a designated job either. Like, when I'm playing on the PC, there's someone who's like, they're a forger their whole life, or they're a, they're making pies and a chef their whole life. You can if you want, but on this particular version, at least when I'm online, everyone's kind of just like helping everywhere they can. Like, if they see they're low on pies, they go and make pies. If they see we need something at the forge, they'll make a forge. But a little bit different community. It's a really nice community, but different. But there is a lot of new members, and that's why that's why teacher me's here. <laughs> she's saying bye, and she's not even old enough to leave yet. <laughs> Lady, you may be old, but you ain't that old. But yeah, so you can't make floors with this on this version. I've seen a lot of people try, and they get very upset. So remember mobile version you cannot make floors with needles but you can make tea and i i actually could show you how to make tea i think i got enough time before i die so in order to make tea go over to water and then you're going to want to put it on burning coal fire you're not going to want to put it on the fire with a fire which we got to wait for right there Pushki. Now it's nice and sizzly. So you can do a couple things. I can add an egg in this and make a, a boiled egg. Or we can make tea. So take your pine needles now. And you're going to stick it right up on there. And now you're making yourself some pine tea. What the pine tea does is um, it increases your rate to have babies. So if you're a female Eve or a female in any village and you have like no babies and you're the last one or it says you and your son and you need babies or you and your grandpa or whatever, drink this. You make it, you drink it. And so other members who are spawning in other areas will now start spawning more on yours. So... If you want babies drink that if you don't want to have kids like say you put a flower somewhere that will make sense later um and you respawn in your village and like newbies just destroyed your entire village and you're very upset and you need to fix it grab a carrot seed you're gonna go over here say you're a young eve how old am i do i have enough time to show you oh gosh grab a carrot seed put it on a flat rock grab a round rock smush it like that and it will become crushed carrot seed eat the crushed carrot seed <laughs> the girl can't eat it because she's dying oh well <laughs> eat the crushed carrot seed and for some reason that will make a girl infertile i think that's the word she can't have babies so to increase babies remember pine tea to have no babies crush a carrot seed because apparently crushing carrots equals no babies. <laughs> so we made it to 60 even though my phone's saying we made it to 59. We're not and what's really cool about this game, which I can't show you even though it's saying I can. You I can't observe myself. <laughs> I just clicked it. Yeah, see I'm dead. There now it says I died. Oh my power went out. Oh man. Are we still streaming? <laughs> Hello, guys. Are we still here? Can you hear me? I know I have phone service, but I'm not sure if I'm still here. <laughs> it's not storming outside. Spoopy moments, guys. I lived the 60 and then my power went... <laughs> ah, who needs power? It's, we'll just play in pitch blackness. But what's really nice about this game... um. In a little bit, I have to just turn off the stream to let Eternal have the link to get to my private server. I forgot to add her. Sorry about that. But what's really nice about this stream is you can see your families from the past. And um, here's one of my old family trees. Look at that. Beautiful. So you see how it says dot, 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 dot? If you click it, it tells you stuff. 
For goodness sake, please bury me. <laughs> so that person wanted to be buried. No one buried them. <laughs> Poor them. So if I wanted to write something with um, one of my family members, I will click this. <laughs> please, why would you just run off? It's worthless life if it dies off, but I guess you guys don't get that. So, this person seems very upset. Again, there's a lot of new members on right now, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to teach you guys. So, when you have people like, I don't know how to say her name, Tormaline, she doesn't get upset because, you know, you got people who can, um, who know a little bit more of the game and can help out. So I don't think there's any chronicles here. So in order to write a chronicle, just hit post and say, I had a great life. I actually don't remember this life. I don't even know if I lived this life. I could have been a baby who ran away. Well, moment of truth, guys. <laughs> guys, I was a baby who ran away. I jinxed it. But hey, you know what? Zero years old, I had a great life. <laughs> <laughs> I was a nameless baby <laughs> who lived a great life. <laughs> uh, look at me right there, guys. I said, F, baby ranger teacher did not teach well. She let me die. <laughs> but yet she let other baby ranger teacher live. And Luke teacher, you know, it, it's fine. It is what it is. Good life, though. My mom had favorites. That's why. <laughs> it's funny that she named her kid after herself, though. This was actually my old one. I was Eve teacher. That was my daughter. Um, she was new to the game. So I'm not surprised. So I got reborn and I didn't even realize it. She just let me die. Or I let myself die. I don't remember. It was too long ago. But all right. I'm, I don't know if I can pause the stream, but I need to somehow pause it. And then I'm going to come back, guys, uh, because I am going to show you the basic baby care. I don't have clothes um, to keep baby warm, but I can show you what happens if you're like a new Eve and then you poop out babies. <laughs> but I forgot to send. Hmm. We could, though eternal we could actually try to go on public let me see how many people are on public this might be a gamble but oh yeah there's not a lot of people oh wait that's the wrong one eh, it's still not too many on right now because it is late at night why don't we try to go on public um and go from there guys we're gonna do a whole public game so this i'm gonna teach you while in the game i don't know if me and eternal are gonna be together but we're going to try. Um, Eternal, shall we play beginner 2 or beginner 1? Beginner 1 has one member. So we'll probably spawn together. I might spawn in my village I was making. But that's way too advanced. Uh, beginner 2. I mean 2. I mean. Well, now I'm confused. I think 1 and 2 are up. You know which one I'm saying. You want to go to the far one? All right, so we're going to go to 13. So here we go, guys. So I spawned as a baby. And this is my mommy. Hi, mommy. We are, if you highlight your mom, it tells you how old she is. She is an Eve. I am a girl. I like to say K and then H for hi. We are Moldy Garlic, guys. That's her name. We are the Moldy Garlic family. So we're going to follow our mommy. Figure out where she is. There's a bell that way. So you see, did you hear that bell? If I follow the yellow arrow, I can find the bell town. But if I click this and it goes back to a blue arrow, that brings me to my mommy's home. So follow your markers. Mommy. Oh, there she is. <laughs> uh, this still might be a far village. I I mean, she has some clothes on. It's hard to say. It's hard to say if she found it or where we're going. Okay. So as a baby, you can't type a lot. Um, when you're first born, it's only one thing. When you're 
two to three, it's three. Oh, this looks like a pretty far village, guys. They, um, they already got some nice things. I'm gonna go in here. Mm -hmm. If you usually if you go on carpet it warms you up, but yeah, see how I'm a little more warmer up there next to my food meter is my temp. If a baby is cold, it dies quicker. If a baby is warmer, it doesn't die as much. That's why you tend to be put on the fire. So mama is doing that. So my heat is yeah. See, I just got a little more warmer. So. I guess, like, this is not an Eve village. Uh, this might actually be where the bell was. Just different markers. I don't know, though. They are taking good care of me, though. <laughs> um, in this game, unlike the phone one, one um, the my mom can only have a baby every three minutes so i have to be three years old until she births another one so say if eternal tries to join us uh she has to wait until i am three and then there's a possible chance she'll be with me in the pc one you can have like birth two as twins or give birth just a thousand trillion times and that's your whole life till you're 40 it doesn't happen in this one <laughs> It won't bombard you, so it's a little easier to learn how to play. I got a sad kitty. <laughs> oh, I hear a baby. Who's this? Is that my brother? If you highlight your character, um, other characters, it tells you who they are. So he's my cousin. And he says, Mum, I don't know what he says. Yeah, um, I don't know what they say. So there's a baby. So usually, um, am I still a baby? No, I'm just a bald three-year-old. So at this point, I gotta make sure I am listening. Oh, I can't. It's silent. I have to pay attention to my food. Speaking of, where is my food? I know where there's pie. As a baby, you should not be eating pie. You should be eating berries. <laughs> but I don't, I'm trying to teach and I don't know where everything is right now. Well, here's all the pie. Mm -mm, D wishes. Mm. <laughs> also, my mom didn't didn't give me clothes, so it's let's give myself something so I'm not naked. All right. So I'll say I'll say hi, hi. <laughs> I don't think that's eternal because if that was eternal, she'd say Q. She's not saying Q, so that, that's just a baby. So let's look around, guys. Let's see how far these guys are. Um, they got sheep in a fence. We got a lot of wheels. Ooh, sheep. Mm. I'll keep this one. There, here's the farm. Let's see what they got going here. So that's an advanced well. They don't, it doesn't look like they have milkweed um, planted. Their farm is very sad looking. This is a very sad farm. Um, so I'll probably try to be a farmer. Is that my Jima? Let's see, yeah. I'll say, hi Jima. <laughs> Oh, like I'm not, I'm not, ugh, I'll say I love you. Wow. So it's, it's always good to, uh, to connect with your family too. My cousin's just standing still. All right. So Jima still has eight minutes. That's good. Oh, schniz. She has eight minutes. I have one second. <laughs> Well, when you can't hear, I didn't realize how much I relied on the sound for uh, letting me know when my food bar was low. So I did. That's a sad newborn baby. So this is a good chance for me to show you what I wanted to show you. So I died and say I really love someone and I, I just want to watch them. Let's say it's this little baby. So you could hit starting a Zerb and now I'm literally going to watch their life. Is that my dead body? 
<laughs> no, I died. I died somewhere else. That baby's poking at bones. It's running. So when you're a baby, you should not run away like that. You got. You should stay right next to the fire because you're gonna be cold. Unless your mom's not returning and you're super desperate. But this is like a new member. They they're kind of looking around and they probably don't know what they're doing. They're probably gonna start touching stuff like they think they can grab things as baby. Let's see. <laughs> they're standing there. No, no, they're doing okay. They're gonna die though. It is me. Yeah, see, they're touching stuff. They don't realize they can't do anything as a baby. And then they're gonna, they're gonna die. That's, that's what happens to all the beginners. They know how to say F, and then they die. <laughs> <laughs> happens every time, guys. Stay near your fire. Because trust me, your your mommies and your Gmas, they try. They try to find you. They try to pick you up, but you're moving too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you the control stick sometimes they used to. So that's dead baby. <laughs> um, blessed soul. They're a good beginner right there. It did exactly like I said. It's going to start moving and touching things. Stay. Stay put, babies. Bad babies. I am you, fam. All right, let's see if I can be born to Eternals. And we're going to try. Try to watch my food meter. Because I usually don't die. It's just because, um, nope, I'm, wait, where am I? Am I back to moldy? Yeah, I'm just back to moldy. Sorry, turtle. I have another chance here, guys, and we're going to become a farmer. So I'm going to be a good baby. I'm Barry, and I'm cute. I really like, oh, I meant to say K. I said IK. I really like this, this one's face. I'm a cute baby. <laughs> So, I should probably move to the fire. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and anyone that's uh, old enough to feed me can. And it, Oh, jeez, no one's here. F, save me. Save me, fam. Family. I'm being good, baby. <laughs> F, F, save me. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, aunt, aunt. Nice. So little baby aunt can't feed me because she's not old enough. Um, But she did it. I'm going to smile at her. Let her know. <laughs> so I'm trying to be good baby my mommy not being good mommy though she's not even gonna try to come look at me she just she's just like whatever she's probably so used to newbies running away that she's like well, there goes Barry away. <laughs> but no I just went to fire I'm a good I'm a good baby I'll say F <laughs> feed me auntie thank you Thank you. <laughs> Yay. I love my auntie. She's like my adopted mom, even though she's only like six. <laughs> I'm proud. All right. Let's check how old I am. Two. All righty. I'll say... Almost ready. Almost ready. I'll say thank you, Gima. See, they're they're helping me. My mom just abandoned me at the farm. <laughs> oh, how old is this girl? Okay, good, okay, good. All right. I don't know how old I am. Two. So typically, you grow hair when you're three but some of the babies don't all right this one did so we'll say yay that's when i usually let my moms know that i'm all ready to go into the wild to be a wild baby there's my mom totally abandoned me but she's starting the farm which we need that's good that's good oh look he's making a bell tower 
which means the bell that we heard is not this town. Interesting. So I'm watching my food meter. I'm being good this time. I'm being good. All right. So do we have good compost? We got wet compost. So here, I'm going to keep my book out too to let you guys know. So this is... Um, I think it's saying wet compost. We can't use that until we put poop on it. So that's useless compost right now. Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. Okay. This family's struggling a bit, but we, we can probably do it. As long as I make sure to watch my food meter, we should be okay. So let's, let's look around, try to get our sur uh, surroundings. As a baby, do not wander too far off um, the food source because you do get hungry quicker. So here's some compost, aka soil. I always call it compost. That's good. So we're going to head over, see if we have another basket somewhere. If not, we will try to make one if we are... All right, we need to make one. Oh, they're they're getting nice and organized. Cause we we definitely need a basket for the farm. So I'm already daring it. You should not be going this far out as a baby. But I need to see what we got going. Dead pig. I don't even see reed, so they might have used it all. I don't want to let my Gma down. <laughs> all right, well, we could probably make a basket with wheat. Do we got wheat planted? Wheat. Wheat. <laughs> we got no wheat. We got no... Ma, mommy! Well, you were, you were a turd of a mom anyways. Oh, no, I'm lagging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lagging. Mom, I didn't mean you were a turd. There we go. All right, we'll, we'll just leave her dead remains there, though. I'm taking this. She doesn't need to be on that. All right, this family's struggling, guys. And I'm still a little baby. A little baby who needs to help. So what we need to do is we need to venture. This is because this family, you want to know what they did? They deplenished a lot of their resources. And because of that, they're not at the point where they are struggling. A lot of people are dying. They're hungry, even though they got a whole bunch of pies, but they're dying. They got corn and they got everything but wheat. So we really need to get a basket. So when I get a little bit older, I'm going to venture off. It's, I'm probably going to have to leave my family, but that's okay. You got you. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But I'll try to... Look, everyone's dying. <laughs> Guys, there is pies here. You know what? Maybe, maybe if I bring a pie out here and then I just set it right here, they'll be more likely to eat the pie if they see the pie. That guy has the only basket in this entire village. This is why you should always make more than one. I like to put a basket in each of my stations. So one in the forge, one in the kitchen, and one in the farm. But the more the merrier. At, at, least, at least five max in a big town. How old am I? If I highlight my character, if I can. Seven. I am still just a baby, but I'm going to run with this pie. And we're going to see where Belltown brings me, because there's a bell. I don't know how far away it is, because it doesn't tell you, but we are gonna run. We're not, we're gonna maybe come back to my village if I find the resources we need. So here's wheat, that's great, but I need a basket. So is that the only wheat left? They have, look at all the wheat they chopped down, they just turned into a, I mean, hey, they got a bunch of it out here, but the problem is, is the person who did this knows there's thresh wheat out here, but um, the rest of the family's not going to know there's a bunch of thresh wheat. So, I didn't mean to drop my pie. We're going to see how many wheat is out here that I can chop to turn into a basket, though. 
Let's see. There's one, so two. There's only two. Three. All right, so that's pretty good. So I'm also going to thresh it and leave it here. But only because I need to help my family. I'm only doing it because I need to. I'm doing it for the greater good. Actually, better idea. Instead of making a basket, we're going to take this, this threshed wheat. Well, cut wheat. I think it's called that threshed. We're going to go back to our home. Whoa, dude. Ah. <laughs> I'm panicking and just picking wheat. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, no, that's right, because I needed the basket. Maybe I can, um... We're going to walk around. I'm hungry. Hi, I'm looking for the, um, I'm looking for the basket. They just used the, okay, I was gonna say, they used to pull the plates. They are struggling, poor farm. All right, I need the basket, basket, the basket. Someone has the basket. <laughs> Maybe I'll look near the grave. But yeah, this is this village. It's not like oh, the basket's dead. So because they didn't put the basket on the uh, on a crock, it's now a used, broken basket, and it's useless to me. So I <laughs> oh gosh, this family is struggling because they don't know how to work with their resources. <sighs> Run! It's not that I can't fix this family. I, I could work very hard. Look, see, even my sibling, they're either running away or they're gonna try to work with it too. Um, I gotta make a sacrifice. We, I gotta make a basket. So we need to get this sharp stone. Because I can't farm without getting my compost. I mean my, my soil. Oh. Okay. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna save this village. Or at least make the farm. Alright, we're good we're good guys. We finally got ourselves a basket. So they just were so generous to bring me one, which is great, because now I can bring the seeds. The seeds might disappear. But we're gonna run. We're gonna run for it. Here we go. <laughs> go, little baby body. Go, little baby. I'm getting older, so I'm getting a little faster. But when you're young, you also don't move as fast. So I don't care where I stick it. And you're not yoinking my basket, sir. You're staying away. I see your little beady eyes. I'm watching you, uncle nephew whoever you are all right run me run <laughs> oh no i might have a seed in my basket no is this clay no no okay it was just whoo i was just lagging i was like why can't i pick it up go me go go me go go me go it's all timed i'm not gonna make it look pretty we just gotta put it down all right Nice, nice, nice. Alright, separate it. We gotta get some some wheat going on here. Alright, so where's the hoe? Here's a nice fancy hoe. This is a more advanced hoe than I was showing you guys. Um, it's okay though. Then we're gonna plant. Because again, this is time. These these little wheats right here are time. So awesome. Look at that, guys. I have successfully planted wheat in this village, which is great. Because now, once it's done growing, I can start seeding and making it better. I just uh, watered a berry bush, but that's okay. Oh, well, that's okay. 
We'll fill it up. We got this. <laughs> we going. We doing it. I'm saving this village. I'm going to become the professional farmer. Oh, McDonald's. Okay. Did someone take my basket? Someone yoinked my basket! Look at that. So rude. So rude. That's okay. We got... <laughs> we got wheat going. Oh, maybe, maybe it was my uncle. Maybe he would be nice enough. No, it was my fake mom. I need my bed. Oh, oh, she's bringing it to me. Thank you. She's so nice. It's all, all is forgiven now in this, in this world. I don't know what she said she needed. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I am just going to farm. <laughs> I am good farmer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So our home might end up dying, but as long as I can get a lot of this, that's all that matters. Give me that. And don't you kill my wheat, sir. You let that grow. All right, next we are going to plant the carrots and then we're going to water them so they seed it out. And then we're going to plant more carrots. And then we're going to seed those and then plant another row just for food. All right, my hoe is starting to break. And I don't know how much uh, iron they have here. They do have a lot of wheat, though, which is really nice. We're going to start planting this, though. All right, we're, we're finally getting somewhere. All it took was a basket. <laughs> a basket and some hopes. All right, we got one seeding right now, so we'll just stick that there. And we'll try... Okay, carrots, carrots. Before, before she puts them all with milkweed. There we go. Nice! We only have room for one carrot, and we only have one carrot seed. I could go out and adventure and get another one, but we're not going to do that right now. Alright, now we're gonna grab this. Grab my water. Alright, so this- oh look, it's a little version of me. She's so cute, just eating her pie. So this family, some of them knew exactly what needed to get done, which is great. It was a little hard at first, but we're getting somewhere. Our wheat is growing. I need to get more. So we're gonna move this shovel out of the way. Um, hopefully the hoe won't break and we are going to put more wheat right here that way I can make more wheat baskets um, you know what we're also going to look for I'm gonna put this down we have a couple crocs but are they yeah, yeah there we go we got one I got, my family needs to let this stay on here. <laughs> Thriving Lamau. <laughs> they know it. <laughs> we're, we're doing something. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you know what? It's okay because... Even though I can't hear my game, I'm going to try to fix that for the next stream for you guys. Because if I can hear my cues, I will stop dying. But hey, you know what? We did it. We got the farm going. We put the basket on a crock. Hopefully that family survives. We're going to try one more time. Hopefully I don't get born to that family. Wait, mommy. Let's see, what is this family? This is the bird family. <laughs> um, a lot of these families are not Eves. I wanted to kind of start out as an Eve. So, hmm, should I kill myself? No, my, my mom's working too hard. 
I'll probably kill myself at the town. <laughs> Unless she abandons me. No, it doesn't really matter. She's trying. I'm lagging, so if you see my mom awkwardly following air, that's because for some reason my phone makes my, my character run faster than they're actually running. And that's why when my character turns three, I'm trying to pick up stuff and I can't because my character's lagging behind. Weirdest thing, but it's, <laughs> it's what you're seeing. <sighs> I don't know why it does it. <laughs> my, my phone's weird. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. So I'm gonna try to just walk straight for her, because if I start going in different angles, that's when things get confusing. Man, she was far away from town. Gooby, 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 goo. I am a gooby, gooby. Gooby, gooby, goo. <laughs> I was lagged all the way back down there, guys. Did you see my, my baby just fly? That's what my phone does. It, it loops. To me, I'm going super fast, but to everyone else, I'm just really slow, lagged behind baby. <laughs> gooby, gooby, goo. And that's why I can't pick up things all the time, because to me, it looks like I'm there, but my, <laughs> but in the game, I'm actually not there. Mom, can we be an Eve family? <laughs> no, okay. It was worth a try. Look at me, I'm I'm an impressive baby. I'm just running through the wild. I'm a free baby. Hopefully this family knows where it's at. Mommy, feed me. Sink. I did it. <laughs> this this village actually is doing quite well. Um she didn't lock that up. Oh, yeah, she is. Whew. I want these clothes. <laughs> I'm not going to stay, though, because I want to start as an Eve. Like, that's why I was debating on public. Where, you, where are you? I'm right here, Mom. I'm just lagging. I know. I don't look like I exist for a little bit. <laughs> but I'm, I'm here. I promise. What's your favorite bird? Uh, um, I don't, I don't know how to spell them. I like, I like kestrels. Wait, what? I die? Oh no, mom! Why aren't you carrying me? <laughs> So technically, when they're 40, I'm not supposed to die until they're 43. They can feed me. I wonder if she's confused, because I'm real confused. So sorry, baby, I didn't realize I was old. You were only 40. Huh. Well, because in this game, you could be 43 till you can't feed your babies. So that was weird. Unless it's if you have a kid at 40, 29, 39. We're going to be an Eve. This is why I'm not going to go on the big one. Um, Eternal, if you are still watching, you might like your you fam. But in order for us to show what we were trying to show, I'm going to go to the really dead server. And I'm going to be an Eve. Please, let me be an Eve. I rebirthed at my old village. <laughs> That's okay. My Eve is going to be called... Is going to be called... Um, leaf. She's going to be a leaf. Adventure. Adventure leaf. <laughs> so, you saw that beautiful pop-up? Which I haven't taught you guys yet. But, um... If you take a flower which you find in the jungle, and you put it on a home marker, um, you could be reborn at your old town. And if you don't get buried, you have to live till 60, and then you will probably pop up again. But if someone can bury you, 
you will always spawn again. So right here, this is my dead old body. So we're gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna bury me so I can come back. But I want to be an Eve, so I can't be an Eve here because I'm too advanced. And <laughs> I can't show you the wonders of being Eve when you're already in a town that looks very nice, you know? I'm not done done it, but still looks too nice to be an Eve. So I'm going to bury myself and then pretend this doesn't exist. Well, goodbye, family. <laughs> you don't see me. And I'm okay if I, I ruin my home marker because I'll come back eventually. Poochki. Rest well. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, I hope this is eternal. Hi, BB. <laughs> We're running, baby. <laughs> oh. oh, it is eternal. Yay. So we're going to call eternal eternal. This is the dead server, but I like playing on it because it sometimes has people. All right, eternal. We are, uh, we are going to leave. Sorry about tapping. We're going to leave our um, main world. And we're off to become Eves. First, we need to eat, though. First, we need to find the berries. The berries. <laughs> Somewhere. You know, we could probably be at. Ooh. Could probably be an Eve close by town, but that kind of defeats the purpose because I kind of deplenished all the hard rocks, stones, whatever, stone rocks. I gotta eat all these berries, baby. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I didn't go east, so we're gonna venture east. We're gonna be 10 where Eve's that way. So, baby care. When you are an Eve, you will poop a baby every... Once you turn 16. And... Every three minutes, you could have another baby up until you're 40. I'm on a baby server, so we're probably just going to have Eternal. We might have another one, but I don't know. We're going to go be Eves, though. And I'm making Eternal run with me. <laughs> Eternal, do not leave my side until I say... <laughs> so don't leave. When you're three, let me hold you still. Because you, you're a baby, and you run too slow, and then you're going to starve. So... Stay right here. Let me carry you until I no longer can carry you. We're gonna go past the desert. <laughs> We're gonna go be Eves. Woo. I have a little Guga. So yeah, as long as you hold your baby, you are feeding your baby. So, And you can basically hold a baby up until they're four, I believe. And then you can't hold them anymore. No longer can feed them. They gotta feed themselves. This is the longest desert I have ever been a part of. Me and baby lost in a desert. Not not the best. <laughs> but yeah, baby care. You're gonna if if you have everything established, you're gonna wanna set them next to a fire. And then um that's another way to keep warm, kind of like I was showing you guys earlier. All right, Eternal's three, but she's going to stay with me until I can find a spot where I can say, yo, you safe, baby. But we ain't safe. <laughs> we got a giant swamp now, which is good for water, but not good for anything else. But this can happen to you. You can be an Eve on, a, on an adventure and... um. Never find your home. It'll be a struggle. Being eaves are hard. Now we're in a snow biome. We may run into Santa. Alright. Alright. Alright, this is this is good. This is good right here. It's <laughs> I don't know what's around, but we, we gonna stay here, okay? So we are gonna drop this baby. And I usually like to try to give a baby a basket. I don't have a basket. So we're going to give baby this sharp rock right here. Yeah, water's right here. I'm going to have to show her. Right here. We got water right here. 
Like, what's she saying? <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. That's okay. But like an Eve, you you kind of um oh her cat. But an Eve, it's kind of a gamble where you live. See, I can't pick her up anymore because because she's too old. She four. So she needs to feed herself. But yeah, with the um with babies, you, you kind of have to be like, all right, I'm next to grass, I'm next to rabbits, I'm next to water. And you can either say, all right, this is my gamble home, or you say, okay, I'm going to keep exploring and trying. I think this looks good. We got reeds. We got, um, babies. <laughs> so that's not bad. So we're going to make the basket. And, um, what's nice about having another person with you is they can help collect stuff. If they're a new baby and you're, you're an Eve, that gets hard. Uh, cause you gotta try to teach them. What I usually tell them is just try to, uh, collect sticks and eat food. Like, don't die. Cause that's the most you can do, uh, when you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, we are... Wow, there's a little bit of everything in this little location. It's really not bad. Santa biome, winter biome, bear biome, and rabbit biome. So, that's that's not bad at all. Alright, we're gonna collect our... Collect our clay! So, kind of like I showed with tutorial 1... This is all the stuff I showed you. You're going to be starting it again right here. Leave your clay. And then head back here. You're going to want to hit a home marker too. So see the arrows pointing to my old home. But if you're starting out as an Eve. And you found a location you like. And you don't want to get lost. You're going to want to make a home marker. So to do that, we need our sharp stone, which I dropped somewhere in the wilderness. So I didn't want to waste my only round rock. So let's see if I can find another one real quick. Here we go. And now we're going to look for a sapling. Oh yeah, keep my book out so you can see what I'm doing. So this is a sapling. Hit this and then bring it back to the location you want to set up your, ba uh, your base. Which was south, southeast, southwest. I'm good with directions. Alright, so I was setting it up here next to the water. So where's our duck? There's our duck. I actually need to move up a little more. Set it down. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it on the snow. Ooh, we got bees here. I'll teach bees eventually. So that's my baby. Hi baby. I can let the baby have my basket if they want it. So we're gonna go up here. And now you're gonna hit your home marker and you're gonna see that the green, which is showing my old town, is gonna disappear. Ready? Ooshki. Now, oh, it's still there. Ah, you know, you learn something new every day. So there's my home marker. So that will let me know that I live here now and I will never get lost if I have to venture a little farther to find more stuff. <laughs> so yay! That is awesome. So we're going to turn these into clay clumps. And from there, we're going to turn two of them into bowls and two of them into plates. Because we are starting off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta eat. I'm not watching my food again. Again, uh, my sound's not working, so I can't hear the bing that usually tells me when I'm hungry. And you should probably do your yum, so eat different things. It's a little different on this game. It's not as, like, impactful, but it still does help you. Right now, we're just going to survive on berries. As I said before, put some berries on the ground because uh, the berry bush will respawn. Um, and if you put berries on the ground, you have them on the ground and on the bush. So, there we go. Okay. 
So now we're going to take our basket. Oh, I had a baby. And this one's not eternal. Come here, baby. We're going to shut the book off. We're going to call this one a Marie. Marie. Hi, baby. I'll say we are Eve. We are Eve. And let's see if this baby's new. Ready? Are you new? Are you newly? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Smiley face. Welcome, I'll say. Welcome. Boy. Okay, so this isn't a new baby, which is good, which is good. Um, means I don't have to uh, uh, try to feed them and give them plants. They, can, they basically can help themselves. Um, it makes it a little easier when you're an Eve. Just a little bit. So, they dancing. <laughs> okay. Look at Eternal. Eternal is already out there doing their stuff I'm going to hmm I can't wander too far see I'm already getting nervous for baby so I gotta go back yeah and when you have a baby <laughs> you don't want to go too too far especially if you don't have a fire because they're gonna be hungry a lot they get hungry very quickly just like my poor person. I'm gonna eat a banana. Lom, 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 lom. <laughs> but that's gonna be a fire starter. That's gonna be some kindling. This is my baby. <laughs> More kindling right here. More kindling. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice. We're gonna work on making our hatchet. While we have a baby, we're gonna try to do something. Something useful if I can't go get clay. So... Or a fire starter. Hatchet or fire starter. Okay. Remember, only hit those when they're seeding. At least one. You don't have to do it for all of them, but at least have some seeds on the ground. Okay. We're going to make the fire starter then. Nice. It's a good start. Feed my baby. And we got ourselves a fire starter. <laughs> we'll say love you, baby. Love you, baby. So they know. Always let your babies feel good. It's a very happy baby. <laughs> feed them one. I like to feed them a couple times, even if they don't need it. Alright. I am hungry again, because I'm watching this time. But yeah, the, the best way to show babies, I figured I'd go public for you guys because um, Eternal can be my kid, but it doesn't show you just what it can be like exactly, how to be born and all that. I'll go into better details later, like make it a little more organized, if that makes sense, but eh, it's pretty good. I'll probably post this video full on my YouTube in a, um, probably tomorrow. And then I'll also cut it up, though. <laughs> like, make shorts or something. So it's just a little more organized. Cut out all the, uh... Cut out some of the... <laughs> some of the deaths. Alright. Another seeding, which is good. So this is actually, so far, um, a pretty good location. All right, you see how the bushes already respond? I already ate all the berries because my person was hungry. But I once again, stick them on the ground so people have food. Okay. But this is so far so good. Um, everyone knows how to play. So this E village is coming around, um, coming along very nicely. We already got a lot of soil for a farm. 
it looks like we have we already have a furnace guys so i'll put my book out again and let you i'll start hitting it so you could see how to make it so two adobe hit with a rock to make an oven one more adobe to make your furnace all right we got the fire starter so we're gonna put all this together let's see where's the closest juniper tree though because again you need a juniper tree for fire starting right here so it's kind of far away a little pain, a little much of a hassle but once we can make shears um you make it closer so i gotta make us a hatchet though <laughs> so i know this is very random but there's a spider in my room and my cat just found it and she's kind of scared of it but not at the same time <laughs> so i was kind of hoping she'd eat it for me but it must be kind of big and now i'm sad <laughs> it's really funny to watch it right now okay we need this yay we found it run me run all right eat food I'm going I'm determined to live till 60 so I'm gonna try my best to watch my food because again I don't have my sound to help me so all right we need to make a hatchet so we need oh never mind she's not eating a spider she's trying to grab her nail trimmers that I put in a bag because she likes to carry it in her mouth <laughs> and she found it oh no my cat's weird she likes to carry scissors and her nail trimmers in her mouth so it's very dangerous <laughs> okay so we got one one string we need to get one more oh look at that nice let's make this hatchet for my farm This, this doesn't need to be here. <laughs> uh, where's my sharp stone? Oh, it's right in front of me. It's okay. I'm a little blind. <laughs> Yay, we did it, guys. So, small sha um, shaft, um, string, a uh, sharp stone, make your hatchet. So, good, good, good. We're going to try to keep this, try to make it a little organized doesn't have to be too too organized so we can start start turning the furnace on the forge furnace forge whatever start cooking up some of these plates put that there we need one more long shaft so we gotta find one more maple tree eat these berries stick this one on the ground for food Let's see. Nice. Look at that. Doing good. Now we gotta turn this into a long shaft. I might have killed our only sharp stone. Nope. Okay. Good. I didn't. We're gonna need another sharp stone though for a hoe. But for now, for now, that's good. We're gonna stick this and this over here since the juniper is closer to this side. And now we're gonna collect a couple sticks for kindling. Because there's no way. I mean, if I was very professional, there would be a possible way for me to cook all this. <laughs> but I've never been good with time, like time things. So just just a couple doesn't need to be a lot just enough to say hey I got I got some kindling I'm feeling pretty confident I haven't seen my other daughter so I don't know if she's still here I have seen eternal but I haven't seen happy dance feet all right we're gonna go go try to eat food Here's a berry. 
So a lot of people tend to keep one berry on a bush because they think that that's the only way the, um, the bush will regrow, but that's not true. It's going to regrow the same amount of time regardless if there's one berry or not. So just feel free to take them all off <laughs> or eat one. That's fine. Okay. Is that eternal? Okay, yeah. So I think the other person might be dead. We're just sad. Rest their soul. You you never know. Alright, so let's let's get this fire on. Because Eternal's bringing a lot of stuff. I forgot to grab a juniper. <laughs> Alright, now let's turn this fire on. Nice. Eat a carrot so I don't die. My goal. <laughs> we have one goal in life. And we will be successful. Okay. Now we're going to try to go as fast as I can. <laughs> like Sonic fast. Some people, they're crazy fast. I don't know if they, like, they are playing this not on the phone or not. Like they have it on PC somehow. Or they're just really trigger happy. <laughs> Cause I am like, I am like an old lady with it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Eternal. We still ran out of fire. <laughs> nice. See, always good to have someone else by your side. I'm gonna say, yay. Good, 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 good. Alright, so we, we basically have the beginner stuff right here. Um, now we just need an oven. We got this nice, beautiful thing to put our basket on top. Boink. Okay. So now... It would be nice if we could make another basket. Because I would hate to take the only basket and leave Eternal without one. Because we need un we need one to go get the oven. And rabbits. So in order to make rabbits, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go make some snares for the rabbits. So to make a snare... You grab a long stick, and then you go find a short, sto a sharp stone. Nice. And then you're gonna whack it three times. One, two, three, till it turns into a steak. And then you're gonna go find some more string, create a rope, and then combine those two. So we're off. Oh more berries so again place them on the ground you don't have to put all the berries on the ground but again I just I prefer to do it okay let's see nice and that budded so might as well put some seeds on the ground while we're at it and now we're gonna go make our rabbit snare And now we're gonna go get some rabbits. We only need one rabbit at the beginning, so just one. If if we can just get one, I'll feel good. Uh oh. Oh, okay, it's right here. I was like, that was such a small rabbit. I'm by him. Yay! And it has family already. It's a lucky day for us. We're gonna bring another rock because we need another <laughs> sharp stone. So while we're over here, we might as well do that. And we might as well bring a carrot. Yay. And then we'll bring our rabbit. R.I.P. rabbit. Into the basket you go. And while I head back, we might as well get this one. So only hunt rabbits when the hole says it's a family hole. If it says used rabbit hole, 
do not hunt the rabbit when it comes back because if you do that hole will become an abandoned hole and we don't want that my fire died <laughs> that's fine okay we do have a round rock already okay put that there again try to you gotta try to keep your place a little clean oh a sad kitty oh berries are back so once again well now that we have plates we can actually start i mean bowls we can actually start bowling up the seeds i mean the berries like this and just leave them on the ground but if you don't have a lot of bowls you can still put some on the ground like that Alrighty, let's skin up this oh no we'll put this over here i know kitty you don't want to be in my bedroom <laughs> i'm almost done streaming i'll let you out okay so sad <laughs> Alrighty. so now we just chop that grab this do i have another steak I might have to kill my home marker right now, which is fine. We'll just set it back up. We gotta make another fire. Wait, did you said something a long time ago. Can be my baby you fan- Okay, nope. Go to other server town. I don't know when you wrote that, Eternal. I'm sorry. I need to look <laughs> at the comments a little more. Okay. So now we're gonna do that, and we don't we don't want to make a big fire because to cook rabbit we need to get a skewer and then cook it over. I think it's called like coal. It's when the fire goes, not like out, out, but it's like warm and sizzly. Oh no, I killed my long shaft. Well, that was unfortunate. I'll have to go find another one. Like, So now I am too old for a baby, but Eternal can have a baby. Drink. We're gonna put our basket back so it doesn't die. And we are still waiting on our fire. <laughs> we we don't need to stand around. We got we got things to do. Alright, there we go. So now cook your rabbit. Set it down. And then we'll put the home marker back. So we don't get lost. What's nice about the home marker is say if you have a baby um, and it's it uh, it will also have the home, home marker or it should. I'm pretty sure it does. If it's not related to you though, it won't have the home marker. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So now we're going to eat the rabbit, put it on the ground and then get a piece of bone from it right there. Because this is how you make a needle for sewing. So then grab your flint, hitch the bone, and it becomes the bone needle, which is right here. See? And then we're going to take the one string that's already here, and we're going to combine it. Spooshki! And now we got ourselves a good needle and thread. You're going to take your needle and thread, and we're going to combine it to the cut rabbit we had from earlier to get a pouch. And the reason why we need a pouch is because we need it for the bellows for the furnace. So you're going to head over here, take one of your tongs, and you're going to put it together. And now we need a clay nozzle. So one thing me and Eternal forgot to do was to whack a, um, whack a clay <laughs> to get the clay nozzle from it. So I just got to go find some clay real quick. And then I gotta whack it. <laughs> Let's see. There's, it's a little bit of a small jungle, a swamp area. It's not a very, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. It's pretty big. Just kidding. It's just, a, it's going south instead of what I'm used to. 
as big what is it called vertically than horizontal I think you turtle ate all my clay that's okay <laughs> we'll dry up one it's it's okay to dry up one if you have more than one we have quite a bit I saw up here so we'll dry one up it's fine sacrifice has to be made we're gonna head back up here So this is so far has been a pretty good area. Um, it has basically everything. The only thing I haven't found because I haven't looked for it is iron. But so far so good. So once again you're going to need a skewer. You're going to take this. And then you're just going to poke the clay till it poops a little nozzle. <laughs> and you'll put your, uh, you'll put your home marker back on there. Like this, quick. Then we are going to eat a banana. And we might as well turn um turn this clay into something too since we brought it home. Uh you never could go wrong with more bowls. Where you going with that? Ma'am. <laughs> she just she just took my clay and just left with it. Fine, whatever. I guess I didn't need the clay. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I gotta find another long shaft. I forgot I killed our our only long shaft. Here, you know what? We'll we'll bring more than one straight stick home so I, I don't actually hit it again. Oh, good idea. Turning it into an adobe for an oven. Okay. Yeah, we definitely did need that. Oh, behind the furnace. Even better. Even better. I... Wink. Okay, so we're going to now finish up. Yay! So, while we're doing this, Eternal gave us another adobe to block the furnace. So, to block it, you just um, scroll on it, and it, it will put the adobe on it. And what we're doing is we're basically making coal. And coal is used for um, crafting. And then you're going to put the clay nozzle we just cooked onto the bellows. <laughs> Yay, it's done. So, my person's getting very old. She is 47. But so far, for an e-village that's on public, we're not doing too bad. We don't have an oven yet, but we do have a farm. And we do have a forge. And the forge is pretty much done. We just need now to get some iron. So I'm going to turn this back on. Like so. Oops. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong thing. There. I'm going to check my person's age. 48. I might be able to do this. So we still don't have an oven though. And it's going to have, since it's not a big space we're working with, the oven's going to have to go right there. And then this is going to be our forge. There. Okay, we're going to go eat some berries. I'm going to put some on the ground again. Alright, and we're going to see if we can find a piece of iron before we pass away of old age. Or more than one iron, that'd be nice too. I know where to get iron. I could go I could go take some from my town. But that would be cheating. So we're going to try to do it the old Eve way. So you only find iron in bear town or bear biome. So sometimes you won't find it. Sometimes you will. I've noticed a theme. If you see wolves, there's usually iron. <laughs> 
If you don't see wolves, it's probably no iron. Well, there's this. We can mine iron, but we don't have <laughs> we don't have the tools. We gotta go caveman. All right, so no wolves, no iron so far. Oh, here's some more. Let's see. I can't hear anything, so I don't even know if there would be a wolf. Ooh. Yay. Let's see if I can find some more. So the first iron you use is always used for a smithing hammer. And you need the smithing hammer to make the other tools like the shovel, the axe, um, the hoe. And the first beginning um, items you want, tools you want to make are usually an axe, so your your um, wood and fire stays longer. The hoe uh, to increase your farming, because your other one's just gonna keep breaking. And then, uh, what would be the third one? Uh, I guess mm, either shears or a knife too would be nice. Because knife could be used for baking um, and killing animals, like sheep, I should say. And um, these public servers, you can't kill people, but there is one you can. So you, knives are good for stabbing, savvy. <laughs> or shears, you can cut wool off sheep and um, turn them into clothes. So. And you could also kill the sheep for mutton. So honestly, those would be the last two I'd recommend. So I found quite a bit of iron just in that little spot. So how old am I? Let's see. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go grab a sh flat rock. And this isn't gonna be my forge lesson. I'm gonna go a lot slower, more in detail in a different stream but this at least will give you guys an idea of what you are going to see happening so you i'm only going to be able to do one at a time which is a little unfortunate but i don't have a lot of time to not because my fire also died again so running all the way back to the juniper and then we're going to start it again Do we have kindling? Kindling? La, la, la. Nope. We're gonna kill. I don't know. I need to kill something. Ooh. Me. <laughs> need to kill myself. You know, maybe that's just a just proof that I can't show you guys forge yet. <laughs> I was so excited to forge that I forgot to eat. Well, we almost made it to 60, but again, you can observe Eternal and see what she's doing. She's she's having PTSD. <laughs> she's killing herself. <laughs> she's, she's kicking my dead body. I thought <laughs> she died. <laughs> oh, I gave my child PTSD. Oh, man. Well, you know what? That's, a, that's probably a good place to stop. Um, I know it got a little random there. Um, I was going to show babies on my private server, but again, I forgot to give Eternal the link to go to my private server. So it got a little random out there after my farm. So I assure you we will do a more in-depth baby care and a better explanation on the um on the forge after but at least you guys got to see a taste of a little bit of the public server at night time so it's smaller population at night the chaos that's kind of going around with new people not knowing how to keep their resources um but you got to also see some really nice towns too like those are pretty well developed compared to what i've seen and you've also got to see me die all the time. <laughs> I'm going to try to fix that. Um, if I stream on my tablet, I'll have sound, but I won't have my private server. So I just, I got to make a sacrifice somewhere. <laughs> got to be better at watching my food. But yeah, hopefully the farming um, I did good with. Um, but 
that's a little bit of all that. <laughs> but next time, next tutorial, again, we will better care of babies and we will <laughs> survive. But I uh, thank you all for stopping by. And um, these are fun. And I hope to see you next time. Next time, um, before I leave, I know I keep saying it. I'm also going to try to stream a Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be a GBA Sims. So that's going to be fun. But if I'm feeling good tomorrow, we'll do another tutorial of this. So I hope everyone has a good night. And thank you so, so much for stopping by. I'm going to see if someone is streaming one hour, one life. Because I know no one is streaming you are hope. <laughs> Except me. Ooh, let's see. One hour. It is late, so it's hard to say. One hour, one life. Just me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Well, it was worth the try. So I think I'll just let you all go. It's late, so there's probably not a lot of people on right now. So have a great night and morning, guys. <laughs>